The victims of a possible deadly street race are being remembered in Northridge tonight. Four young lives were lost in the horrific crash that followed. Loved ones are gathering on Lassen Street near Balboa Boulevard where the crash took place. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live in Northridge with key video evidence and more about the victims. Lori. Andrea and Elsa, tonight police are still looking for another driver who they say might have been racing with the victims in the moments before they crashed. Behind me is right where it happened. People have been stomping by here all day and night and cars slowing down, seeing this and knowing it is the telltale sign of tragedy. Sometimes there are no words for heartbreak, and so Saturday night, hundreds stood mostly in silence, honoring 20 year old Martin Gomez, his girlfriend, 22 year old Amanda Alfar, 20 year old Denny Lamelli, and his girlfriend, 21 year old Lena Amari. They were always both joking, always happy. They were never in a bad mood, always associ associating with other people. All day into night, family and friends built this memorial where police say the silver BMW the couples were in went off Balboa Boulevard late Friday night, possibly going airborne, hitting a curb, a tree, and a wall. LAPD says they might have been street racing. Police released this security video saying they want to talk to the driver of this black sedan seen on nearby Lassen Street. Seconds later, a white flash shows the moment the BMW exploded. For Denny Lamelli's cousin, this seemed to be the last place, yet the only place she wanted to be today. Yeah, I mean, this is this is where we lost him. <laughs> as much as those who love the victims don't want to believe this happened, neighbors say they can't believe it hasn't happened sooner. His car is racing off the line right here. Um, even as we've been standing here with hundreds of people in front of us, there's been cars just blasting by us. Neighbors say the problem is this is a straightaway of about a mile and a half long with no stop signs or lights. So drivers, they say, just fly by. Police say based on what they saw here at the scene, the BMW might have been exceeding 100 miles an hour when it crashed. Back to you. What a tragic loss. Lori Perez, thank you.